Now, when did you start transitioning to multifamily? Uh, it was a, that was right around that same time, actually. Um, I had bought a couple houses uh, on, the, on the steps just before I started the fund. And, you know, I was kind of doing like a, you know, buy one, flip one, buy one, keep one kind of a thing. So I had a couple of houses that I had bought as rentals and fixed them up. And, you know, I had tenants that were moving out. So I'm like, you know what, I'm going to sell this now. And I'm going to take the money into a 1031 exchange and buy an apartment building. You know, that seems like the thing to do, right? That's what you do in Monopoly is, you know, you trade in the four red houses for the green hotel or the other way around or whatever it is, you know? So I was going to, I was going to play Monopoly in real life and, and jump into multifamily, but I had no idea what I was doing. So I went to a real estate agent that was selling a lot of my flips and I said, you know, hey, I'm thinking about getting into this multifamily thing. I don't know anything about it. Uh, can you help? And, and I, I knew he could help because he was a CCIM, which is the, a commercial, uh, it's, a, it's a broker that specializes in selling commercial real estate. So I, I said, you know, I need to learn the, the ropes here. So he sat me down in his office and totally showed me how to read an income statement, what to look for and all this different stuff. And it was, the, it was a great lesson in how commercial real estate works. And then like a month or two later, he got a listing on a, a 16 unit apartment building. And he told me about it before it went on the market. And, uh, and I put in an offer and I got it. And that was my first multifamily. It was a 1031 exchange. Uh, the seller, I, I got a lender to do uh, a loan for, I think it was, it was either 70 or 80% of the purchase price. The seller carried back 10% of the purchase price. And then the rest of the purchase price came from my 1031 exchange. So that, that was my, my first one.